Good morning, Gemini. How are you doing today on this Thursday? We're going to get started right away on your reading. And anyone interested, I have a $25 reading I offer. You can click on the description below the video if interested. And here, guys, right off the bat, I'm seeing um, somebody is nervous about something, okay? Something coming up that has you extremely nervous. I don't know. Uh, exactly what this is but you actually didn't sleep last night okay and you you were up all night thinking about you know how this situation might go for you and I can tell you right now this is a masculine and you're going to be celebrating okay so that's the outcome of that and here I'm seeing spirit dead center okay and your cycle okay so you know, I'm fairly new at doing Gemini. Um, I've been doing my Aquas now for almost a year or maybe a year, but I could tell you this, uh, the new cycle is unlike a new beginning. This is a whole slew of wonderful things coming in for your betterment specific to each and every one of you. Each one of you has your own cycle filled with things coming in. This is connected to the thousand years of peace. This is partly done by spirit, partly done by mankind, who's behind the scenes right now, um, taking care of, you know, uh, a lot of um, negativity, we'll say, okay, so I don't get my channel pulled down. Um, there's a lot of negativity out there, and they finally decided to eradicate it worldwide, and this is something that's going on that they're not discussing anywhere on TV, okay? Okay. So this is actually happening, guys, and it's going to be the most awesome thing that ever happened to you so far in your life. All right. I'm seeing someone is going to come in to give to you, not just to give to you, to give you, you know, quite a bit of cash. So this is something coming. All right. You see yourself standing back, looking at all this cash. You, you're going to be able to start saving and building up. OK, it doesn't matter how expensive things are. It's going to be enough. OK, you're going to get mental clarity on this. Spirit needs you to be strong right now, because when this happens, you're probably going to want to pass out. <laughs> OK, so here they're saying, you know, Spirit sees you as the star. More importantly, they want you to see yourself as the star. So believe in yourself. Connect to spirit every day with gratitude in your heart. Okay, you are a big bright white light of God and you are more powerful than you know. All right, but they need you to be strong right now because you're going to be getting some clarity on some things in the very near future. I'm seeing a couple here. You're very alike. I'm seeing a Knight of Swords and a Queen of Swords side by side. All right, this could indicate that this reading is just for, you know, all of the Geminis. Um, because I do, my, my, my style is that I jump, I, I pick up on different people's energies when I do the readings. Um, you know, it, this might resonate one day, another day, it may not, you know, um, it may not resonate with everybody, but you know, I, I'm not sure yet if this is, uh, I don't think this is romantic. So I'm going to say that this this reading here, this part is for all of the Geminis, okay? So I'm seeing, you know, something here um, regarding some something sneaky uh, connected to love, okay, that ended. Now, this could be something in your past, okay? This doesn't have to be now or in the future, but I'm seeing this lover and I'm seeing this ending. It ended because somebody was up to no good and doing something underhanded here. But I am seeing this page of wands here. This is uh, good things coming into you. This is good news. And this is also um, a masculine who might be coming in as uh, this could be romantic and bringing in the sun for you. We're going to go further and see if there's anything else regarding that. Yep, and I'm seeing, all right, so there's a masculine who's working really hard to get the attention of the empress right now, okay? Um, she is single, and she is actually open to a new start, so 
um, I'm seeing you both together here. I'm seeing this Ten of Pentacles. Not only am I seeing you with this Empress, but I'm also seeing you celebrating with a lot of money around you. Okay, so let's go further and see what else there is. Okay, so this feminine that you're wanting to approach, she is an empath. She um, knows when someone's lying to her immediately. She's very sensitive, very emotional, um, not overly emotional. She's also very strong, okay? Um, she'll make a decision on you immediately um, by what she's feeling uh, when she's around you because she picks up on your energy, okay? So you will know, um, but, you know, the cards are saying that, yes, things are going to work out between the two of you, okay? Um, you're going to like all these qualities about her, um, yeah, so she's been feeling ignored lately and she's going to appreciate the attention. Okay. Um, all right. This is a masculine I'm talking to right now. You've been feeling left out in the cold, uh, financially, and it looks like you've given up. You don't even want to look for a job anymore. Um, you're feeling beaten down and there's something you want that you haven't been able to get yet. You've not been able to achieve this yet. Okay. And, and, you know, although you were committed to achieving whatever this is, you are feeling like you're ready to throw in the towel. Okay. I'm seeing an offer coming in. So don't give up yet. Okay. Here spirit is showing that you're, you're feeling guarded and stuck okay and defensive right now over your finances but i'm seeing this offer so if you are looking for work do it in threes okay line up three interviews if you don't get a job or a career or whatever it is you're looking for within those three interviews when you're done with those three line up three more and you will get the position of your dreams. I'm seeing it here. I'm seeing you landing something that's going to make you quite a bit of money. You have skills, okay? You have skills and you're very knowledgeable. Uh, you've been around the block and I'm seeing wealth. I don't know if this wealth is going to all come from this position you will be getting, but I am seeing wealth here, okay? And I'm seeing wealth here, with this feminine. Okay. So I don't know if you're going to end up, um, together or you're already with this person, but I'm seeing in between you, I'm seeing this huge burden. Okay. So this tells me that the, the burden between you is right now is financial. Okay. I'm also seeing a King of Cups here, um, with a lot of movement. So this king over here could just be somebody coming in to um, bring in some kind of offer, okay? Um, there's going to be some kind of communication, Gemini. All right, this communication, again, is financial. I'm seeing a lot of finances, around our readings the last few days, especially. Okay. Um, I'm seeing that right now we're juggling our finances and, you know, I'm seeing this offer come in and this is going to be through some kind of communication. This is going to be a victory. Okay. This is going to be a victory for you, Gemini's, those of you who are resonating with this situation. All right. You're going to use your intuition on this. And yeah, they're saying that something Something very toxic ended and, you know, don't be saddened by this because this is actually your justice, okay? So whatever this was that ended was your justice, guys, and you have the ace here. This is confirmation that now your life is going to start to flourish. Things around you, you're going to see movement, okay? You're going to see some happiness coming in, all right? And for, for one of you at least... I'm seeing you're experiencing this tower moment and a lot of sadness and regret right now because you're feeling stuck, all right? The truth is, is that you need some healing, 
You need to take some time out and heal. All right, tower moment is not good. It's a, a moment in time where an event or a string of events has us feeling like our whole world is crashing down around us, okay? But I am seeing in the future happiness for you in the near future, but you need to do this healing, all right? That's the problem. That's why you keep feeling like nothing's going right in your life because you haven't healed, okay? So when these emotions come up, these negative emotions, find a quiet place and try to pinpoint exactly where these emotions are coming from, okay? And then just release them. Try to work through them first and release them to the universe. You can do this as many times as you need to until you've actually released all of those negative emotions, all right? Because you have the world at your feet and you don't know it, all right? Because of all the negativity going on that, you know, and it's causing you to vibrate on this very low um, level. So when you're vibrating on a low level, guys, you, you can't pull in anything. So that explains why nothing good is coming in or happening around you. And it feels like it's all negative, all right? So you have to raise your vibration. This is where all the goodies are up here, all right? You're vibrating down here because you're you're sad and you know, you're feeling bad for yourself and forgive me for being honest there. Okay. But you know, I'm kind of honest. So, you know, I'm not kind of honest. I'm, I'm, I'm all the way honest. What I'm trying to say is I'm a little bit blunt. Okay. I, I don't, I don't sugarcoat it too much for you. All right. But you don't know, you have no understanding that you have the world at your feet and you have all these options out there that are already laying in wait. This is the moon. This is the card of things going on in the background that you're unaware of. And this isn't always negative, guys. This is could be good things because it's next to your, um, your options card here. Here, they're showing you. You have a lot of things, a lot of diversity, things that you could be choosing from instead of this, which is you're looking down at these three spilled cups, feeling bad, but you're not noticing the two cups that are full behind you, okay? So we want to try to tweak how you're perceiving things and looking at life because then, you know, your happiness will be overflowing. It's just going to take that little tweak, okay? And I believe in you. I believe you can do it. Guys, here comes this Ace of Pentacles. This is nothing but good, all right? This is like the sun's going to come out for you. You are manifesting, some of you at least, or one of you at least, is manifesting this Ace of Pentacles. Um, you can all do it. You can all think about this money and what, you know, have the emotions behind what it would feel like to have it for 30 to 60 seconds. That is how you manifest, guys. You have to be in this positive mindset. Your vibration has to be high and it will be if you're positive, okay? And you just think about this money coming into you and what, smell the paint in that new house, guys. Do it for 30 to 60 seconds. Um, you know, look at that glimmering swimming pool in your backyard and feel what it would feel like to, to, to have that as yours, okay? I'm seeing this uh, Knight of Cups and this Knight of Wands, okay? And uh, a balancing out in your life, okay? So I'm seeing money. I'm seeing people coming into your life, whether they're friends or, you know, whoever they are. I'm seeing uh, juggling here. Somebody's juggling their money, um, and, and have a broken heart because they're having a difficult time taking care of their children, okay? This is probably quite a few people out there. I'm seeing a, a partnership coming in and a lot of happiness and celebration behind it. All right, guys, I'm seeing the emperor here and this person, you know, over here, I'm seeing a lot of like inner conflict, and trying to work something out. This is a masculine trying to work some problems out right now. You know, just feeling like you're looking, almost looking over your shoulder, trying to, you know, <clears throat> trying to stay one step ahead in the game of all this conflict that you're going through. Okay, but I'm seeing something. Uh, I'm going to take this another step because I'm not really sure about what I just saw. I'm going to see what this emperor is maybe, you know, having a hard time about and what to do about it. Let's see, spirit. Okay. So I'm seeing your justice and happiness 
and your world being at your feet, okay? So they're saying that when you were younger, you always knew how to make things right, okay? Things were a lot easier. Go back to that. Go back to that thought process. This is going to help you tremendously. This is going to be your justice, and it's going to bring your happiness back, okay? It sounds very simple. I know things aren't that simple as they were when you were young, but it really is that simple. I don't know how to explain it any better to you or any different, okay? Just you can manifest the things that you need, even, even changes that you need in your life, by changing your perception and going back your perceptions everything your perception is everything guys it's the bomb okay it's the bomb like you can um you can change your whole life just by tweaking your perception okay so that is the reading i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a wonderful thursday